do men always splash when they use the toilet? Like, okay. is there an aiming problem there going on? Well, well t- uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're here with Dr. Tan Yong Khan, a urologist at Euro Health, and maybe Dr. Tan, you can tell me more about what you do here. Okay, well, as a urologist, basically, I am a human plumber. <laughs> oh, it's true. I mean, I, I deal with uh, pl- human plumbing issues, for example, chokes in the urinary system. Wow, human plumber. I've never that's right, that's right. So, you. That's right. so my first question is, what should my pee smell and look like? Actually, that's an interesting question because in the Middle Ages, when people were trying to diagnose disease, they look at pee, they smell the pee, and they actually tasted the pee. Oh. The usual colour of pee is this light yellow colour. So apart from the usual yellow kind of uh, variation, it can actually be orange, uh, it can be green, it can be red. And very rarely, it can be purple. So it's the orange like my shirt? It's like even orange. darker orange, like tea-coloured orange. The first two are pretty nice colours. The third one, something's going on. It may not just be concentrated urine, but when it gets to this colour, then I'll be a bit worried about whether there's something else wrong within the body. For example, the liver and all that. This yeah. one, like if there's bowel, that's That's out. right, if there's bowel and all that. So usually what we tell people is as long as the urine is as light as possible, you're probably drinking enough water. We actually do recommend that people have produced about 2 litres of urine a day. Is it possible to have urine that's too light? You could technically be in a situation where you have overdose on water and then get water toxicity. So water toxicity means that you have so much water in your system and your kidneys can't clear out fast enough. It's going to dilute all the salts in your body. Things like sodium, if the levels start dropping, it actually can cause confusion and even seizures when it's bad enough. What does it mean if I have foamy pee? Like? There can be a few reasons. Everyone's worried about this whole issue about kidney failure. Yeah. And that is one of the reasons, okay? So foamy pee tends to occur either because of a flow issue. That means the flow, let's say it's uh, interrupted and there's a lot of turbulence in the flow. It's sort of like if you blow enough bubbles into the tea, you'll probably get a bit of foam. Or it could actually be due to certain particles within the urine. And these particles are oftentimes protein, or it can be bile again. I've always been told that if I ever get a UTI, I should drink a lot of cranberry juice. Mm. Does it really help or is it just a drink? I think there's some evidence to suggest that cranberry extracts uh, do help to reduce the chance of uh, infections and may reduce the duration of the infection. Usually the extracts work better than the juice because the juice is all full of sugar and very little of the active component. When men are erected, right? Mm. Why is it so hard to pee? This is the urine tract Mm -hmm. and around it is the penis and all this blue area is what we call spongy tissue. Mm -hmm. So when you get erect, basically all this tissue is going to engorge on both sides and it's going to press on the urine tract. So that affects the flow. Up. Well, if you could pee, yeah, then you could pee, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Now, as a kid, when you really needed to pee, mm. I think your parents would be like trying to encourage you to pee, right? They make this sound. Is there a reason behind why we make that sound? I'm not sure about the psychology behind it, but it's something that sometimes we use, for example, when we're trying to get patients to pee. There was this time when I had to conduct the, the drug testing for the UFC fights in Singapore, and then uh, as part of the requirement, I have to observe the urine collection. So I'm in the toilet with the UFC fighters. Some of them have what we call shy bladder syndrome, where in the presence of other people, they have difficulty peeing. Yeah, so sometimes you have to like turn on the tap, make noises, flush the toilet just to get the flow going. So what happens if you really need to pee, like your bladder is full and Mm. you pee too fast? Does the speed matter? No, actually, the faster you can pee, the better it means. This is physics, right? Flow is related to the length of the tube Mm -hmm. and the diameter of the tube. So for a woman, there's no penis, so it's very short. 2 cm to 3 cm and the diameter is a fixed diameter. In a man, there is an extra length attached to the bladder called the penis. Mm-hmm. So that actually slows down the flow. So usually, women will be, have a higher flow than men. So do men technically pee slower than women? Yes, to some extent it's a bit slower. But of course, you know, yeah. peeing is a function of both bladder contraction, mm-hmm. uh, that, that's your pump, right? Mm-hmm. But you can actually increase the speed of peeing by actually contracting your abdominal wall, your stomach muscles. 
and that will speed up the flow. We're not so worried about someone who pees fast, but we're more worried about someone who pees slowly. Well, if you're peeing slowly, there may be some kind of obstruction going on. So for men, we'll be worried about prostate enlargement and things like that. For a woman, then maybe there is some kind of narrowing in the urinary tract. Or in some women, we find that they actually have a problem with relaxation. So the pelvic floor, where the urine tube passes through, cannot relax properly. And then the flow becomes a problem. It becomes slow, it's like a bit of staccato flow. So it's up and down, up and down. It's a very intermittent flow pattern. And that's because sometimes the muscles cannot relax properly. So doctor, sometimes right, when I go to a unisex toilet, mm. and then there are men who have used the toilet, right? Yes. And then I see all the stains and the splashes, right? mm. Why do men always splash when they use the toilet? Sometimes men just can't be bothered. Sometimes there may be flow issues. Yeah. So let's say the flow is obstructed and he's forcing, so you may get spurts of urine. So if it's spurting, it's a bit harder to control because suddenly it'll be slow, suddenly it'll be fast. Mm. So you may get splashes around the place. Is there a difference if you sit on a toilet bowl, squat, or you go to the urinal and stand? The only difference is how much mess you make. Obviously, if you're sitting on a toilet bowl, probably you're not going to be spraying all over the sides of the toilet bowl unless you, as a guy, you lift it up and then start doing some propeller thing with it. Otherwise, yeah, it should all go into the toilet bowl and not be on the sides or on the walls. <laughs>